Hey guys, and welcome back to another chapter of From Ashes to a New Beginning. Written by me, Stacey Holt. Artwork was by Pastel Kitty Gore Art. As for my voice actors, Diz will be voicing Adrian and Cat Noir. Titanium Kitten will be voicing Luca and Plague. I'll be voicing Marinette Ladybug and the narrator. Obrazikyo will be voicing Gabriel and Hawkmoth. And Catherine will be voicing Natalie and Mayura. Please go check them out. They're such an amazing help to my channel, and I probably couldn't have made it without them. They're so amazing and they're so nice. Just go check them out. They'll really appreciate it. Here we go. Chapter 54. Cat Noir and Luca's eyes widened with shock as they were left standing looking at their enemy. Hawk Moth was in his home. Marinette was missing. Did he do something to Marinette? He swore to Hawk Moth and Mayura that they would regret it if they did anything to her. Where's Marinette? Cat Noir glared, his hands gripped into fists. She's safe for now. It's astounding that she recognizes me. Is it safe to assume that you've met up with her and helped her remember everything? Hawk Moth asked. What? She can't remember anything. She was the Guardian. Guardians lose their memories. Cat Noir said, trying to act as innocent and unaware as possible. Cat Noir glanced over at Luca and noticed Luca giving him an unpleasant look. It was almost a worried look. Luca was worried about them? No, he was worried about Marinette. It was to be expected. They had no idea where she was. All they knew was Hawk Moth had her somewhere. Well, it's weird that she would give up dating you so easily and then just out of the blue date Adrian. No remorse or sadness. Hawk Moth smirked. What are you getting at? Cat Noir narrowed his gaze. It's time to give up this act. Come to our side. Forget being the Guardian. Don't you want to know why we want the Miraculous to begin with? Hawk Moth asked. Cat Noir thought for a moment and looked at Hawk Moth. What are your plans with the Miraculous? Cat Noir asked. Cat Noir, no! Luca said. We're going to bring her back. Hawk Moth said, stepping closer with a smile. Bring who back? Cat Noir questioned. My wife, your mother, Emily, Hawk Moth said. Kenmore's eyes slowly widened at the sudden realization. W what What did you say? Cat said, taking a step backward. I'm doing this for you. We can bring her back to us, Adrian. Hawk Moth smiled. Father? Cat Noir said. Cat Noir felt like he couldn't breathe. His hands and feet felt cold. Cold or numb. He felt like he couldn't move. This entire time. His father was Hawk Moth. All these years. Wait. He still had leverage over Marinette's parents. He owned their home in the United States. If he refused to help him, what would happen to Sabine and Tom? Would his father actually hurt Marinette to get what he wants? Son, help me take the Ladybug Miraculous, and we can bring your mother back. Hawk Moth said, giving his best gentle smile. Luca turned to Cat Noir, who was still internally thinking, and saw how in shock he was. Cat Noir! No! Don't do this! We came here to save Marinette! We need to do that by defeating Hawk Moth! Marinette is counting on us! Luca said. Catnoir closed his eyes and gripped his fists. And suddenly, Luca saw Catnoir jump toward Hawk Moth. Mayura jumped in front of Hawk Moth, taking the hit instead. Mayura was struck, and it caused her to fly backwards into Hawk Moth. Catnoir grit his teeth, seeing Hawk Moth hold Mayura in his arms and smile at them as if they still could win. Why are you smiling? Mayura is hurt. There's no way you're going to win now, father. Cat smiled. Are you really so sure? You'll come to me begging for my help. You'll help me, whether you like it or not, Adrian. We tried to be the good guys. You'll regret your decision. Hawk Moth glared. Cat Noir and Luca got into their fighting stances, 
ready for whatever Hawk Moth and Mayura were planning to do. Hawk Moth pulled out his phone with his free hand and smirked. This is your final chance, boys. We are joining you! Luca spoke up, pulling out his yo-yo. We will never join you! Tell us where you put Marinette! Cat said angrily. Hawk Moth sighed, seeing that neither of them would listen. Hawk Moth clicked his phone, and Cat Noir and Luca exchanged looks. Hawk Moth put his phone back into his pocket and put Mayura over his shoulder, seeing that the hit from Cat Noir had hurt her pretty badly. While Cat Noir and Luca were exchanging confused looks, Hawk Moth kicked Cat Noir's legs out from beneath him and then took out his staff and hit Luca across the face, knocking him to the ground. Hawk Moth took off running toward the exit, but Luca quickly took out his yo yo and twirled it. He slung it and shot it toward Hawk Moth. The yo-yo flew toward Hawk Moth, but Hawk Moth avoided the attack. Cat Noir hit the ground with his fists as they both heard Hawk Moth and Mayura leave the building. Luca clenched his fist. He missed. He could have stopped Hawk Moth then and there. And he missed. We... We'll get him. Don't worry. Cat Noir said, standing up and lending Luca a hand. Luca looked up at Cat Noir with a surprised face and smiled. Luca took Cat Noir's hand and hoisted himself up. Let's go find Marinette. Luca smiled. Cat Noir nodded. You go check the kitchen and Sabine and Tom's old bedroom. I'll go check Gabriel's bedroom? Luca said, hoping Adrian wouldn't notice where he was actually going. Uh, all right. Yell if you find her. Cat Noir nodded. Luca nodded and they were about to part ways, but... All of a sudden, they both stood frozen. They turned back to one another, eyes wide with fear. Do you smell that? Cat asked. Yeah, that's... that smoke! Thank you all for listening. I hope I get to see you in the next chapter. Production's a little slow, but, you know, life's life. And I really appreciate everybody sticking around, listening, and watching, and commenting. I really do appreciate it. Every single one. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys!